Cubans continue to go to war against Ukraine, generous payments offered to them by Russia. Cubans continue to travel to Russia to join its war against Ukraine, despite efforts by the Havana government to clamp down on recruitment, according to a person familiar with the situation. Volunteers are signing up through informal channels, and the total number of combatants is likely in the hundreds, although exact details are difficult to establish, Bloomberg writes. Generous payments offered by the Russian military are enticing impoverished Cubans to join the war as the Caribbean nation grapples with power outages and food shortages amid an economic crisis that has sparked mass migration and street protests. Some are also lured by the prospects of a Russian passport after President Vladimir Putin signed a decree in January allowing foreigners to obtain citizenship in exchange for war service. We were the ones who found out and made public that several Cubans who were in Europe were recruited for the war. Cuban Deputy Foreign Minister Carlos Fernandez de Cossio told Bloomberg TV and radio in April. The number of recruits pales in comparison to the Cold War era when tens of thousands of Cubans fought in Angola in the 1970s and 1980s alongside hundreds of Soviet military advisors in a proxy war against the United States and its allies. Of course, the number of Cubans visiting Russia, mostly tourists, has fallen sharply in recent years from nearly 77,000 in 2021 to about 15,000 last year. But according to Russian border security data, the number of those who said they were on a business trip has doubled from 492 in 2021 to 942 last year. Cuban officials have sent mixed signals about Russia's involvement in the war in Ukraine. Hours after Cuba's ambassador to Moscow said in September that his government had no objection to its citizens joining the Russian army in combat, Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez said Havana's unequivocal position was to oppose intervention. After 17 people were arrested in September in connection with an alleged human trafficking ring that lured Cubans to fight on Russia's side, the foreign ministry said in a statement that Cuba is not involved in the war in Ukraine and would act firmly to stop any recruitment campaigns. Russia has taken steps to increase military recruitment at home and abroad in an effort to replace the huge number of troops killed or wounded in fighting in Ukraine. European officials estimate that the Kremlin has forced thousands of migrants as well as foreign students and workers to fight alongside Russian troops. Sakurajima Volcano in Japan's Kagoshima Prefecture has erupted, Volcanic Ash Advisory Center VAAC, Tokyo reported on July 20. The VAAC warned about a volcanic ash plume that rose up to an estimated 4,900 m altitude or flight level 160 and is moving at 20 kts in E direction. No damage or casualties have been reported so far. The volcano is located in the southern island of Kyushu. Sakurajima is an active volcano, formerly an island and now a peninsula, in Kagoshima Prefecture. Being one of the most active volcanoes in the country, Sakurajima last erupted in February this year. Sakurajima, which means Cherry Blossom Island, is located about 1,000 kilometers southwest of Tokyo, and near the city of Kagoshima in the southern prefecture. Sakurajima used to be an island but became a peninsula following an eruption in 1914. In 2019, Sakurajima spewed ash 5.5 kilometers high.